Hello everyone, today we're going to be making our perfect, never failing, literally, you will never be upset about a stir fry sauce again. This is part of my stir fry series. I'm also doing how to make the crunchiest, most delicious tofu and how to just like assemble a stir fry in general and you will never go wrong really. So definitely be sure to check out those videos. I will include them below in the bio. But today we're talking about stir fry sauces and I'm a big sauce gal, so I'm excited for today. We're gonna kinda cover how I like to create the stir fry sauce and what I'm feeling today and I'll we'll kind of go over how you can change it to your own preferences. So let's get started. So the main components I have found with stir fry sauces that I have liked and I've also found just like browsing the internet, peanut recipes are we're gonna need a good base and some like extra flavor profiles that'll kind of set that general stir fry goodness. So what we're gonna do is I use reduced sodium soy sauce just because history of family hypertension i'm an anxious individual and we're just trying to limit our salt intake in it overall so i'm gonna probably do about like maybe half a cup of these it really does not need to be exact you can completely change it depending on your preferences. And if I'm feeling a little bit more of a stronger soy sauce flavor, I'll add a little bit more one day. If I'm kind of wanting it just more so for a base, I'll just do a little bit less. So we have our base. The other two components I have found to be pretty prevalent in a lot of stir fry sauces are sesame seed oil and rice vinegar. Rice vinegar. Now it smells fine. Clearly. I'm just lying through my teeth. I'll probably do about like two tablespoons of this. The sesame seed oil is where I get very excited though. So this stuff is liquid gold. I actually need more. It smells so good. Oh my gosh. Probably about two tablespoons of that. And then this is where we can get wild. I am very big on seasoning based off of vibes. If you're someone who is not, nothing wrong with that. I just like to kind of like add however much I'm feeling at the time. And today I'm feeling all like sweet and like hot slash a little bit of spice sauce. But Bobby thinks I over season things so I will have to pull back a little bit on this for him. So today we're going to be adding a variety of spices and our sweetness component is going to come from some honey and peanut butter. We're going to add some garlic powder for some savory bits. Just a, a little bit of a, a couple light shakes. We're going to do some, I'm oh, sorry, this is garlic powder. What did I say? Anyway, this is onion powder. Garlic and onion powder get added into a lot of my stir fry sauces. I just like love both of those flavors so much that I feel like they're so versatile and can go with really anything. For my heat, we're gonna add in some cayenne pepper and paprika. It's already smelling so good. Once again, season with your heart, but I live with a white man, so I must chill out with my seasonings. I'm also white, I will note, so, or half white. But we can't get too crazy. I just inhaled that cayenne pepper, oh my gosh. Oh, and our last bit of heat is gonna be some red pepper flakes. We're gonna do just a little bit, in my mind, just a little bit. Okay, before we get to the two sweetness uh, factors, I found that adding brown ginger adds a really nice, like, well-rounding flavor. I don't add too, too much of it, just because it can be very overpowering, I feel, but it just really makes it, like, feel very nice and like vibrant almost. And then I'm gonna add like the smallest dash of salt, a little bit of pepper. Um, before we get to the sweet ones, cause I have to get a knife for this and that's gonna take more energy. I always add cornstarch to my stir fries. This helps thicken it, especially when it's getting heated and like over a simmer. 
So I'll add a decent amount of this actually. Cause I like, I feel that it sticks to the vegetables and the carb component a little bit better. This is about how much I used. Can you even see it without it dripping? Well, you can imagine. So now we're gonna add our honey. I just love honey. I don't add too, too much, but I want some type of sweetness with it. And then with the peanut butter, it'll definitely up that sweetness component. I will note I once made a like very peanut butter heavy stir fry sauce. It was kind of like giving me the like Thai peanut sauce vibes. It was so good, oh my gosh, so good. It's gonna be about this much. Maybe a tablespoon and a half. We might add a little bit more. I'm really feeling peanut butter right now. I don't know. Come on. And then we are just going to whisk and I'm gonna eat this because I'm hungry and did not eat enough today. And of course the mini whisk makes an appearance. And you can substitute like peanut butter out for almond butter any other type of nut butter you'd like. Any of these you could do like, instead of soy sauce, you could do coconut aminos. You can add some MSG if you don't want to do salt. The opportunities are endless. You can, this is your world. And the world is your oyster. The world is your cooking oyster. You can add whatever you want to your food. Who cares what anyone says? Do whatever your heart desires. So we're just gonna whisk. Honestly, the biggest thing is like making sure you have enough liquid, making sure you have, I think the sesame seed oil, rice vinegar, and cornstarch are kind of staples in every soy stir sauce, stir fry sauce, just because you kind of need some type of base. But also I haven't really experimented a lot with like poison sauce or like oyster sauce. I feel like those could be really good as well. Alrighty, she's all done. Look at her, and then you have your delicious, incredible stir fry sauce. Yum! All these. I feel like I always use a million things when I'm making stir fry sauces. Alrighty, beautiful people, that is how you make your delicious stir fry sauce. Like you said, you can kind of do whatever you want, whatever the vibes are saying that day. The world is your oyster. Make whatever stir fry sauce you like. Let me know if you try this out. If you'd like to see more videos like this, like and comment below. Definitely be sure to subscribe and turn on the little bell icon so you don't miss any wonderful videos from yours truly. Check out the tofu video, stir fry video will be coming out. It might be out at this time, but if not, I'll include it in the bio once it does come out. And enjoy. Have the best time. You really can't go wrong unless you add something like you're allergic to, but don't do that. Critical thinking. I'll see you guys next week. Have the best rest of your day.